is the stuff of sophisticated nutritional science. It's about protein, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, a well-balanced diet. Want to bet some dogs and cats eat healthier than their owners? The instants need more fat and protein in their diet than dogs do. But the basic ingredients that factories grind up to make dog and cat food are similar. First, corn kernels. Then cereals, such as barley, wheat, and rice. Workers weigh the ingredients, grind them in a mill, then combine everything in a mixer until they have an even and well-blended powder. As the continuous stream of shaped mixture exits the die, a spinning knife cuts it into pieces. The company has different dies to produce different shapes. This is a batch of round pieces. Next stop, a hot air dryer for 25 minutes. It heats the pieces to 300 degrees Fahrenheit to draw out the moisture, then cools them at room temperature. Once the pieces exit the dryer, they enter a revolving drum where they're sprayed with fat and flavoring. The fat is designed to add food energy while the flavoring gives the bland pieces an appetizing odor and taste. Appetizing for pets, that is. The rotation ensures the pieces get coated evenly. From here, the pieces go into storage silos. When they leave the silos for bagging, the machinery screens out any crumbs. The pet food industry has made some interesting observations about the likes and dislikes of its four-legged clientele. Apparently, cats and dogs aren't crazy about food that's too dry, too hard to chest them properly. But if the pieces are too big, they'll gag and get turned off to the food altogether. In the packaging department, automated scales weigh the exact quantity per package. This batch is destined for bags weighing about six and a half pounds. The package sizes range from just under one pound all the way up to 44 pounds. Shelf life is from 12 to 16 months, depending on the formula. Pet food experts say dogs and cats prefer food with a fattier content and a combined meat and cereal formula over just cereal alone. But too much meat flavoring can turn them off. Cats, as a rule, are more particular. They favor more acidic food, while dogs tend to have a sweeter tooth. And you thought kids were fussy eaters.